Hello and welcome to another Throwback Thursday. This one is going to be parts from the super cool tour of the Union Pacific North Yard in Denver. Shout out to the Youth and Model Railroading Club for making this happen. Enjoy. So, any engine that's coming in for traction motor problems, which are the motors on the wheels, or uh, federal inspection, which we do every 92 days, so those are kind of the maintenance cycles we do on our shelf cars. So we'll bring them in here, electric and machines can check the bottoms, change the fluids on the motors, uh, change filters, and then also what we do in this facility is reprofile the steel wheels on the locomotive, which means we cut the locomotive wheels with a place that have a big lane. And that is actually right behind me. This is what we call our wheel tree. So basically we have pull the locomotive on using these uh, cables, spot it, putting the wheel right here, and then we actually have this cutting head which will come up, these rails will move out, and will come up and reprofile the wheel, actually cut it, so you can actually see these are what used to be a wheel, all these little shavings. These are razor sharp.
your quiz thing. Uh, where should I go? Go ahead. He's the one doing all the paperwork. And he has the list of all the cars, what's in the cars, and where if they need to set cars out. He's got all their rule books, which literally will take up a duffel bag. And all that good stuff. So, if someone wants to take a seat in the engineer's seat, Bell. There would be a handle right here, but I pulled it because I don't want somebody putting this little That's motor the in the reverser. Reverser. <laughs> reverser. Yep. So Good forward, idea. reverse. Throttle is only dealing with speed, not direction. Then you have your dynamic braking for different uh, levels. So you can't use both of them at the same time, which would be silly. Why would you brake and throttle at the same time? Yeah. Red handle is for your automatic. What does that control? Train. All the so all the cars, cars and, the, and the locomotives together. And, yeah. And then your black handle is for your independent, so that can control just the locomotives themselves. So then you also have your like your your headlights. Um, if I was if this had an EOT, I could use this button right here and dump the air from the back of the train. That's, but they don't like doing that because I don't put it in emergency. That's why there's a nice steady cover over it. Um, you do have what they call an alerter, which goes off every 30 seconds. It start, it'll start beeping, beep, dee, 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 and then it'll get louder, 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 and then it'll do a solid, a loud, annoying tone. And if he does, if he's not pushing this button, mm -hmm. it'll put the train into a, a braking application. It's 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, every 30 seconds. If he doesn't do something with throttle or brakes or something, those will reset it. Right. But if he's not, if he's mm -hmm. sitting there snoozing, yeah. it'll, it'll start beeping at him. Okay. So these are your display screens. I'll show you just about anything you need to know about the locomotive. Show you your speed, brake pressure, uh, reservoir pressures, main reservoir, brake cylinder, flow. Uh, is there any other questions? No. Nope. Well, if there's only two people that run a train, how often there's a third seat and a jump seat? So sometimes you have brakemen. So if it's a really um, kind of busy switching job, so. If you have a set out, sometimes you'll have a brakeman. Okay. Uh, certain locations actually require brakeman under the, con the union contracts. Um, like if you're running in like LA Harbor, you do so much switching. There's a there's typically a brakeman. Okay. Um, so the brakeman's if there's if there's no brakeman, the conductor's the one that's getting down and throwing switches and pulling pins and all that kind of high hand brakes. So okay. he's pretty busy. And here he sits up there. Or if the train's backing up, the conductor's the one that's on the rear of the train, so he's got the one to two mile height. Yeah. As you guys see, this, this cab is crash hardened. So this is got a about six inch piece of steel to help the crew survive. 